At almost six weeks old, Littlefoot is still smaller than a newborn. We've had like 14 babies born over the span of the last week. It's been exciting. We've got some cutie babies in here. Hey buddy, how are you? We've got some more cuties over here. I've got a new one here with me. She was born last night. Her temperature is a little bit low. I'm just here blow drying her just to see if I can get her temperature back up. Her temperature's not super low. I checked it before, it was 98.4 and it needs to be at least 101.5. I know you'd rather be with your mom. Yeah, but she can't keep you warm. I have to warm you up and then I can take you back out. Is that okay? We were young and we were free. Let's see if we can get her warmed up. So I've been heating her up for, oh, I don't know, 20 minutes now? Or maybe a half hour. So I'm gonna go ahead and check her temperature again. We are getting close. Hundred point two. Let's do it again. I let her be for just a minute, and maybe she just cooled back down. So I'm just gonna keep heating her up, and we'll give it another go. Look at these little hooves, and tell me that they are not just the cutest little boots you ever did see. They're cute. Yeah, your boots. Okay, yeah, they're hooves. You're right. You're right. I'm sorry. I called them boots. They're hooves. Time for round three. I got you. Oh, we're getting so close. I have always been afraid of changes, but show me life is full of All well done. A little warmer than I intended, but she'll be just fine. We'll take her down to get a little drink for mom and wish her a good rest of her day. Look at that cute face. anyone out there today we've got some babies in here that are hungry let's get them fed you hear that what was that she's a little camera shy no i can't let you in you're not a mom there's always a problem when it rains. I bring the moms in to feed the babies. There's a lot of the moms that don't want to come through the rain to get here. They got to cross this field of rain and they'd rather not do that. I've also got some up there on the side of the barn that need to come in that also don't want to trick through the rain. So let's go see what we can do about that. Gray mom, we need you in there. Ring the bell. And they all come running. What's going mamas? Set of babies. All right, got the mamas in. And we're gonna find the smaller babies and make sure they've got some food. Fixing some lunch, mom? Huh? You cutie patootie babies? Good deal. Good job, honey. <laughs> Time to get some mamas on the milk stand. Feed some of these babies who, uh, their mamas don't want to feed them. Look at that udder. It's so full, it's shiny. Oh. She's the only mom tall enough to reach this from the ground. Hard to keep her out of there. All right, who wants up? You want up, buddy? He's one of our littler ones. Let's see if he's hungry. Yes, please. Done, bud? Okay. <laughs> what are you doing with your tongue?
He's a doofus. We got a little foot here with us. Got a little bit of an update. He's doing all right. He's hanging in there. He's still got a little bit of a cold. We're having a hard time shaking it. He's on another round of antibiotics right now. He has times where he seems like he's not feeling well, and then he has other times where he's bouncing off the walls. So it's hard to tell how he's really doing. He doesn't really love to be held. He's not super cuddly. I thought he'd be more cuddly with how much time we've spent together hanging out in the house. I think he knows that this is how I handle him when I'm going to give him a shot. Because I've been giving him his antibiotic shots once a day, and he doesn't love those. So he's putting up a fight, hoping that that's not what's going to happen. Or even his nose drops. He hates those too. But they help him breathe. He looks like he's breathing through his mouth because he's, he's congested. So it's almost like he's panting like a dog. But he's doing all right. He's hanging in there. I haven't done a weigh-in for a little bit. I need to weigh him tonight. I'm going to find out what he weighs. I'm going to give him a nice bath, get him cleaned up. He should be looking... Good as new, better than new, because he was so little. I'm hoping he's over four pounds now. I wouldn't be surprised. This is Littlefoot's brother. His brother's way bigger. And then this is a newborn born yesterday. He's still the same size as a newborn. He's smaller than this newborn. I still can't believe that he's alive. That was pretty sketchy for a while there. When he was born, I wouldn't say our chances were better than like 10%. Keep him alive and have him thrive the way he has, probably even less than that. He's thrived so well. I think the main reason he's done so well is just his appetite, his willingness to eat anytime I try to feed him. We've had babies in the past that they lose their appetites every once in a while for one reason or another, and he's always been a great eater. We've got enough babies around here to take care of that you get pretty good at being able to tell how much somebody's eaten and whether they've eaten at all, just based on how tight their tummy is. This little guy has had a meal. He's, he's got a tight little tum-tum. He's a cutie. If you haven't seen his birth, you'll want to. And if you have, but you want more, we got you here.